Welcome to the Dreadful Whale, which is an anagram of I miss Dowd, or whatever it's an anagram well, of. <laughs> farewell, Dowd. Uh, no writing in your diary today, <laughs> Corvo. You're going to exposition land. The void, but somehow different this time. <sighs> Somehow it's different yeah. this time. I can't. <laughs> you're, just try- you're trying so hard to get out of this. Trying, trying to go talk to Megan Foster instead. Can anyone tell me what is different about the dreadful whale this right now? Surprised I can pull you into this place? The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in I really hate how all games seem to want to have conversations between the antagonist and you, and can't figure out a way to do it, other than making you helpless. (laughs) Yeah, Um, and I- Mass Effect did okay. (laughs) Let me tell you about Far Cry 5. I think part of the reason I hate Delilah's monologue so much is because she tries to talk with her hands a lot of the way uh, the way that Slackjaw did in in Dishonored One, but she's so melodramatic about it. Whereas Slackjaw just did it very naturally. He 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 would uh, he would like make expansive gestures, but he wouldn't he wouldn't like make some very specific thing like putting her her finger over her lips when she's talking about a secret. I'm just like, I know what a secret is. I don't remember Slackjaw being that expansive. He would just be like, look at that. I kept my part of the bargain. Now you keep your part of the bargain. I'm not Daniel Day-Lewis. Well, when he was telling you something, he would like put both of his hands forward and open them. It's just like, it wasn't subtle, but it it was, but it it had better symbology than whatever the crap she's doing. Then again, their their characters are starkly different in terms of how they perceive everything. It's like Joe's rooted in the nitty gritty, dirty reality of stuff, and is a person doing whatever it takes to get through there. Delilah lives in Fantasy Kingdom land, where everything should have gone her way. She was owed this and that, and it's really, really terrible how everybody didn't treat her amazingly super well, and that everyone will love her when she's Empress, except no one does. Okay, but like, if you were Delilah, like, if your dad was an emperor and your mom was not, you would be like, you know what, I deserve to be Empress. I, you know. That sort of twisted logic, in- implying that the world owes you anything, kind of remi- uh, reminds me of uh, the end of Rick and Morty Season 3, <laughs> where Rick pointed out that he literally made an entire harm- a harmless fantasy world to-, uh, to keep his daughter from going sociopathically destructive on the entire neighborhood. Spoiler alert! I mean, it's sort of the sort of what uh, what Delilah did for herself. Only she didn't stay there. I mean, I, you got to admire her determination, really. I mean, I, you can't. I, I'm never going. I'm going to disrespect the hustle. Under no circumstances will I ever disrespect the hustle. I will, however, uh, however, disrespect a hustle that uh, that leaves that leaves bodies in its way. That's not okay. <laughs> that might be a problem for our heroes then. <laughs> That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. There's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! The sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here. to know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. I think she's pretty much telling the truth though, like a hundred percent. When I was young, from what we the from what we get in the DLC for Dishonored One, Sokolov. we know that the broad strokes of what she's talking they about are true. Um, in the sense that yeah, she almost certainly is Delilah or not Delilah, you know just what? means mm. half sister. So uh, half sister. The specifics he me regard, uh, regarding me all of this stories. stuff are both you very see, important and very different, however. Hmm. 
His the, mind the outsider tells age. Dao that it well, that's uh, changed. that they broke something the over fortune and they they Doesn't preferred to much. blame Delilah over given. Jessamy yeah. because Groans in his sleep. Delilah Coughs Delilah wasn't blood. uh I thought he'd tell me she's a kid. Right? It Delilah. wasn't even it's that. It was just like if you're a kid you'd be like, No, I didn't do it. Even if it's glaringly oh, obvious that you did do it, you're still gonna try Also Jessamy was just a bit of a little shit as a kid. Every kid is a little shit. We don't have anybody but uh, but Delilah's word that Jessamine outright blamed her. And, you know, I mean, if Jessamine didn't blame her, then yeah, she's got plenty of reason to be mad at the system, but not uh, not to not to go and just take it personally. Yeah, but it makes a more interesting story if Jessamine has a little bit of flaws. Oh, true, 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 true. Shut I'm, up, not, I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just, I'm pointing out... No. She's What's the word I'm looking for? Uh... Fart? Man, I have completely lo uh, lost this uh, this word. The double-edged sword of the unreliable <laughs> narrator. You know, I mean, okay. can we actually... Can we actually trust a single fucking word that, uh, that comes out of Delilah's mouth? I mean, yeah, we... I think we have to, for lack of al other alternatives. We do also have independent verification of, <laughs> of, of the broad strokes of her story, but the details? No. There, there's a lot of conflict in the details. The thing is, life sucks. The, uh, the big issue I take with, uh, with most of what Delilah has to say is mostly that I know for, I know for a fact that she is a conniving, manipulative person, but at the same time, I know that she, she considers herself, she considers herself the heroine of the story. So, those kinds Said of people murder, will Corvo. always blame everybody else for something that happens. They will always make it somebody else has done the the terrible <laughs> things that have brought them where they are. And Said murder, Corvo. Good to see you're still with <laughs> Hey, look, I'm, I'm wearing it. <laughs> of course he empathizes with Delilah. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls... He'll undo my best efforts here. Then we'll have to make sure Duke Luca Abel doesn't overstay his welcome. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. I appreciate your thoughts on the matter, Alexandria. Chindosh wanted me to help him with a rather complicated problem. It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever man. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Emily did for me, freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try, Megan. They kept me going after they gave me to Jindosh. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Ah, the Empress has risen. A peaceful sleep, I hope. Nothing like the pillows at Dunwall Tower, made of goose feathers. Sit down when you want to talk. Anton, when I brought you back, you could barely speak. But it's been three days. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne, and my father is... missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sir Konos, I meant to leave everything behind. Old man telling story! Assassination started. I'm gonna be the most badass old man for that. <laughs> like, I already tell long, rambling stories that get there eventually. When, I, when I'm like 70, they're just gonna be much Shut more up. long and much more Your story's rambling. too long! <laughs> they're, they're, they're never actually going to reach the ending of, of, these, of these explanations. 
<laughs> I couldn't help it, cool guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's gonna be talk. He's gonna be talking about that time he went to Dunwall back in in 2000 and dig it two. It's and always it's... in 19 and ticky two. <laughs> you put an onion on your belt, which was the style tickety of the thousand time. and tickety tickety. And uh, he's gonna. Uh, they're gonna be wearing a Dunwall eel on the belt because that was the style of the time. <laughs> and I used to take this trolley. <laughs> the Dunwall lemon tree. <laughs> Thanks for the shop. Meet me at the skiff when you want to set out for the Royal Conservatory. <laughs> There's a spark in your eyes. Something other than hate, which surprises me given all that's happened. I have trouble remembering my mother's face sometimes. But there might be some resemblance. Painted from memory. While trying to learn more about what the Duke of Sarkonos was up to, I began hearing a name I hadn't heard in almost two decades. Delilah Copperspoon. We painted together for a time, but her obsession with the occult and the Caldwin family took her out of my circles. I saw some of her paintings. Beautiful, but somehow sinister. You knew Delilah? All this time traveling with you and you never mentioned my that? My past is none of your business. You're you making it our business. Empress. Another life. <laughs> I do own everything. Fuck you, <laughs> Megan. <laughs> <laughs> That's harsh. what an empress is. Harsh but fair. <laughs> I own you, and I own this boat. Ashworth has an interest in the occult. That's a snotty way to put it. In another life, he might be facing me along with her. Head to the skiff when you're ready, Empress. Megan Foster is like withholding information is even more of a, a jerk hole in this case. This, okay, uh, but it is a bit unwarranted. I mean, well, it's not even just that; it's more just the, uh, the fact that uh, that she keeps dropping all all of the intriguing snippets and the extraordinary implications. Yeah, like, Man, if you're gonna say, if, if it's a testament gonna... to her guilty complex, I think. Yeah, I mean that's effectively what uh, what it is. It's just like either say something or don't. Don't try to say nothing. It's kind of the balance between natural conversation, though, and, like, game plot progression. So, you gotta forgive it a little bit. No, I'll never forgive her. I'll never <laughs> forgive her! You're, never! You're a cruel man, Robokai. Especially because she leaves, continually leaves explanations all around the place. <laughs> even, like, puts up, like, a freaking like, a voice thing later to just, like, rub it in further. I killed a man with an antelope. Yeah, absolutely, she could put a lock on her damn diary. Seriously, it's just like... What was that? <laughs> that was, there. was that a cough or a sneeze? It was a stretch. <laughs> we'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. Oh, Lord. 
all the terrible things I've done. So these guys are funny. I liked how they just set up. There was no reason for the game developers to set up this situation, but they did, and that's the kind of thing that I appreciated. It's pretty cute. It is cute. They've got like a whole play acting thing that they do here. So that's why I'm sitting here listening to it, because it's like, they're trying really hard, and I just want to, you know. It's like a, it's like a free ticket to the play. <laughs> maybe it's if you guys didn't keep doing this performance hourly, maybe. this wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> oh, oh no. there it is, Don't the Ethel. Oh no, chloroform. Okay, I was gonna say, man, if that guy somehow gets out of that chloroform, I'm gonna be really disappointed. You're dead. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Brain, meat, nose. Just write nerd bones. on her forehead. Her poor face. They're fine. I'm pretty, pretty sure that her lack of a nose just goes straight along with the uh, her threat earlier. The game says they're fine, so they're fine. <laughs> this chick just does not care. She's just laying around. Now they're friends. It's fine. Friends <laughs> forever. It's pretty comfy, it's actually. It does look yeah. comfy. Right. I don't remember right, what right I did now, in this right video. <laughs> this was like almost a year ago. <laughs> I don't remember any of this. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's part of what makes it fun. Is you know, I mean, all of a sudden we have uh, we, we have we have blind reactions to what we're even doing. Sorry, we're closed. Okay, oh, we're open. We're open, but please make it quick. What was the point of that line? I don't know. He's a scared to boy. Talk about how yeah, they're scared of you or some shit. I don't. Know. I have been robbing every shop. If you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. I'll think about it. It's just weird how he flips like a complete. He like rubber bands like, sorry, we're closed. Actually, I've got a secret job I need you to do to rob the museum. Just like I looked, I looked at you again, and all of a sudden, I'm, I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. Maybe this per this person makes. Sense Actually, we're to. so just open. I'll pay then. you. <laughs> Well, he's probably ding, ding, ding. because he's worrying about that other thing, and you know, he's worrying the heat's gonna come down on him. Uh, he's just like, "Oh, we're we're closed, we're closed. I don't want, and you know, I don't want anyone to see us what we're doing." And he thinks about it from true. a moment. He's like, there "Well, actually, we're open. Make it quick." And then he's like, "Well, actually, maybe if I really, really think about this, maybe I should, you know, just make use of this person." It's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm still I'm still hung up on on that dude's voice and mouse mode. <laughs> <laughs> I love mouse mode. I like that like you the remember worst... it. It's called mouse mode. <laughs> yeah, you called it mouse mode. And that's basically the best name I'm going to come up for. Uh, I'm going to come up with. So I'm keep using it. <laughs> <laughs> the wide world of it's just chipmunk voice, guys. <laughs> it is very chipmunk, I guess, but. <laughs> I mean, it depends on which chipmunk. We ain't Alvin and the chipmunks over here. No, we're Emily. Emily and the chipmunks. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm really curious as, 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 to, as to what you're attempting to accomplish at this point. I don't know. I don't remember anymore. Just having a late night drink, <laughs> reading the newspaper. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm glass. luring some guys that radio What's with hiding that radio? behind the cat okay yeah i'm hiding i guess i want them to come in so i can <laughs> okay <laughs> okay is that what I'm wow he went about? he went around the most roundabout path he was like two steps away and he's going i'm gonna hook around and so fast but just close the door behind you he's so polite <laughs> come all right he's just did you <laughs> I'm sure. peeking so high over this sofa and he doesn't see me. <laughs> this is like something out of Sesame Street. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. Choke time. Hi. Choking montage. <laughs> and now, yeah, now everybody around the... Oh, oh domino goody. time. Whee. All right. <laughs> it's like a choking montage. <laughs> montage. Choking montage. Ooh. Oh, shadow walk montage. Wow. What? Literally stealing their breath oh. away. Oh, I'm picking them all up. Okay. Oh, I remember this where is, I put them. This, I remember where I put this them. This could not possibly end well. You are very <laughs> clearly. I love Paul. Working uh, up to something. Here. We've done. We've done the hard work. Now it's time to just start moving everybody into a big 
dorky pile somewhere. Yep, here we what go. Are you doing? <laughs> Is this gonna be another cannon? I put them all in the guard checkpoint because that's where the guards belong. <laughs> You know, when they call when they call police station cop shops, they don't mean that cops are literally on sale. School. <laughs> oh, did I not knock out the overseer? Did I just leave him to his fate? Uh, no, I don't think his he did. His fate of having a delightful nap. What a, what a cool and cold fate that was. I can't believe you allowed that overseer to have a nap. <laughs> what are you gonna do to this poor guy? I don't know. I don't remember. I seriously, I recorded Honestly, this in like I'm, June. I checked the I checked the timestamp. Yeah, we, we had a lot. I'm of some amazed of this. that he's not waking up from you just walking around. I like, like that I though. Never have been able to get away with this. I like doing that because it's like you know what you're shitty. <laughs> just everything happened while you were asleep. Oh, oh. wait, no, you're gonna you're gonna far reach his dick. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Can you Far imagine dick, waking up that way, just being pulled out of bed in the morning, kicked in the face, right into your ceiling light, <laughs> and then kicked in the then kicked in the gut, or in the Rude butt. Rude awakening. Hello. The gut butt. Oh. I, 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 I mean, butt. put him right back. So who knows? Maybe it's a dream. <laughs> And then he wakes up <laughs> and sees the lights shattered. And, feel, and feels his tailbone also shattered. He's gonna you wake up, his gun's missing, he's like, <laughs> he's got a really sore butt. <laughs> the light's broken. I guess with their shadow form. <laughs> did I, did I dream this? <laughs> No, I'm sure. I'm sure. I didn't that it. light is shattered. Oh. <laughs> That's if he manages to look up, though. I mean, you're playing on very easy, so I presume he has absolutely no vertical awareness at all. Probably. Oh, the Duke is talking to us. Is this one of his uh, mad rants? It is. He's talking about I mean, how much it's Delilah about is great. As sane as any of them have been up to this point. Oh my God! I remember what I did here. I remember what I did here. You guys are gonna love it. Okay. Anyway, oh we have to watch this thing first. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is low chaos, where they have like a nice chat because they're friends, I guess. I mean, they, it's low chaos, so they're more they're more friends than than enemies. Yeah, and in High Chaos, one of them is like, mm -hmm. fuck you, bitch, and kills the other one. Oh, and there's a yeah, witch. It gives her a shove. That's very disappointing. I'm just saying, bitches before witches. What if they find us? You know I'll protect you. Just like when we were kids. Domino, the yeah. this is going to end wonderfully. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's just, I didn't manage. To, there we go. Eh. <laughs> it's just efficient, you know? You know? I frequently don't. I frequently fail to notice that uh, that you can actually see the fate pull from one side to the other. Oh my god! You're seriously gonna put all of the cops in the cop I think shop I. Right I think I do actually. Well, that's where they belong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. Okay, but where are you gonna put all the witches? Uh. Not in the cop shop. Because I mean, the I overseer don't... was already where the overseer is supposed to go. So, I'm sure I where had a plan go? for the witches. I'm sure I had a plan for the witches, but I don't remember what it is right now. This person I make <laughs> safe because the thing I'm about to do is not safe. Oh boy! <laughs> <So> <laughs> even a even making it so safety save. Here we go. We're doing we're doing some speed running. That did like this go is away. Gonna, this is gonna be be part of a run in SGDQ. This is like the only it. time that I managed to do this. I remember this. Okay. Okay. It took me a lot of tries too, if I remember oh, correctly. Oh, I see what you're gonna try to do. <laughs> oh no. Come on, come on, come, come on. on. There you go. There we go. <laughs> go. <laughs> a dude wins uh, wins the long and high jump you're free you're free no oh. to do whatever you please <laughs> i can definitely see why you put her on the roof now yeah i didn't want her to i didn't want him to kill her 
And I didn't want blood flies to get I'm actually not, not sure what they do in a situation like that. Also, yeah. that is hilarious. Nothing, Just out of nowhere, nothing you happened. get a flashbang in your face. Let's have I, don't I thought they're just disturbing subtitles in the background. Let's see. Mm. They just what don't you even would, do whatever what you, they're gonna what, do. What would you give for like a catapult with like a bottle of ether on it, really? Oh shit! That was that was a pretty good trick, actually. <laughs> uh. Wait. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. What? Hi. Wow, she figured out where it came from. Yeah, I don't know. Um, the weird thing about these witches, if like I will admit, uh, really was not expecting them to, to be that good of detectives. No, the weird thing about Jeepers. those witches is like if you if you alert them and then make them look around a little bit, but if they don't find you, they'll just like go away. Like you don't even have to fight them; they'll just disappear. Rose, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to correct you. You actually mean jinkies. Jinkies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this guy's not doing anything, he's just standing around, so I have to I have to help him a little bit, it looks like. Are you trying uh, trying to to bait the witches into fighting this I guy? Just, I just slaughter him, you know that, right? <laughs> I want somebody to fight this guy, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I will say it'll be quite a feat to uh, to have baited somebody from like halfway across the level. This is like the only successful. I'm surprised his uh, AI extends that far. Usually they have a soft lock. In yeah. Areas. Yeah. Usually they're tethered to yeah. their specific area sim uh, simply because, uh, well, yeah. for a lot of reasons, yeah. I could go on on, yep. on that for a while, but it's not interesting. I was gonna say this is like the only successful um, displacement of the blood flag guys that I've managed. There's a little bit of one you can do in the next chapter, but it's hard. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is the only this is the only proper one that I've even seen. Oh, hi, there's there's the dude. Yeah. Oh, hi friend. The thing is they like get bored and then they go back to kind of where they came from. You have to make them like you yeah. really have to make them chase you like Oh I thought you were gone, he says. So casual. But also so blind. Hey. Oh 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 Let's watch. I'm Yay! I'm gonna fight you, swords. Oh crap! Made his <laughs> he made us feel no pain. There's roll. no arms. <laughs> he lost his arm. His arm. <laughs> Holy oh, crap! His arms. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dude. Oh my god! Dude, oh no! Oh god! Eyes. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Wait, where is her partner? <laughs> Too far and too late. <laughs> Why would you do not close the gun against shooting? <laughs> they no, 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 no. You're making it worse. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait. Well, there's more. Wait, they might. Oh, no. Okay. Just, uh, oh, the this is this is what happens when high chaos leaks into low chaos. Apparently, <laughs> it's fine because you know what? He killed them, not me. What did you What did you think was going to happen, though? I mean, in the end, what did you think was going to happen? I will admit, I did oh, no. not see it coming. That the nest keeper was going was going to break it. This guy has been hanging back the whole time. Oh, that was someone Smart else. Smart decision, as it turns out. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect the nest keeper to vomit up a bunch of blood flies. That's, that was not something that wait, I. That's what they foresaw. do. If Who you cut off their arms, to? they explode into blood flies. You can do that when you're fighting them like face to face too. They turn into blood flies, which is, which is a horrible surprise puts, when you're fighting them face to face. Yeah, that, that puts a whole new meaning on exploding <laughs> into treats. And then I just. You better pick. No. Uh, and then I kill the blood flies because I don't want She's them to kill her. She's dead in here real quick. If the blood flies kill her at this point, it's my fault. So that's why I kill the blood flies now. Uh, <laughs> there's still a substantial <laughs> number of... Okay, great. <laughs> they go Wait, in the vial. Back to the guard cabin. <laughs> so, you realize that some of those are going to hatch and then eat all of the other cops, right? Uh-uh. They'll be fine. They don't wait that long. <laughs> they'll be, they'll be fine. What do oh my god. Oh no. 
Um, you totally didn't realize that. The, 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 the awkward moment of silence said it all. So, there's some more cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh -oh. Oh, been... God. oh, no. That's an issue for you. We and... Been I've been rambled. And another god dies anymore. because of your irresponsibility. I He's don't probably think the guard is alive anymore. He's probably okay, he, fine. I, for a minute there, I thought he was frickin' vaporized. Okay. <laughs> sure. I don't remember what I did. I just, this Although is why I tend to, like, like, vertically clear a level before I, like, clear the I lower level. What? Like, you clear the upper there parts that you kept, you kept Yeah, doing sorry, the, that's what uh, I meant. So the... I start at the upper and work on the down. She kept whiffing. Wasn't, that was, wasn't so much whiff because she wasn't try, uh, trying to uh, to do a choke. That was more like the Dunwallian fencing salute. Oh, this is just transversal. I'm just trying to traverse him to the other guards. To the cop shop. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Smashes his face. <laughs> Sorry about your face. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Oh <laughs> this surprises you? This is this this I've episode like should just be entitled when mischief goes awry. <laughs> Listen, I've got like a twenty percent <laughs> like I've got like a twenty percent window. Because Emily's just like there's all like these dead guards around with like blood flies and everything, and Emily's going, It was just a prank, bro! Okay, listen, there's like a certain percentage of deaths that I can inadvertently cause that don't count against me like blood fly guy. And then there's a certain percent. Does that actually not count against you? That, no. It's like, basically the way it worked in Dishonored One, and I've seen nothing to say that it doesn't work this way in Dishonored Two. Really? Do you is, remember uh, my exactly Karnaka? Do you remember my Chapter Two where I didn't get blamed for a single death? Yes, yeah, but I, that was I really remember different. that. That was different, however, in that you still didn't have twenty percent of humans losing their lives, okay. like. For better or for, uh, for worse, whatever, in in Dishonored 1, if less than 20% of people lost their lives, you were low chaos. Yeah. I presume it's the same. And in I'm Dishonored just saying, 2. a lot of these aren't actually my ultimate responsibility. Listen, if they were better at their jobs, then they wouldn't be dead, and that is not my responsibility, <laughs> because I was not responsible for making them better at their jobs. No, but you are responsible <laughs> for making them dead. Uh-uh. Le Not leading true. The, <laughs> leading the people down, uh, down there to to get all up in their business. That's not your fault. Apparently They're not. getting in my business. And yet you're right by a fire. I don't remember what the outcome... <laughs> don't remember what the outcome of this <laughs> chapter was. I'm sorry. It's possible I was responsible for many deaths. <laughs> Oh, you know, I, I really get the feeling you're going to be responsible for at least a couple. Uh, well, that's but, a pretty you know, safe bet. Fine. I, told, like... I told you when we started this, you don't have to do clean hands. That's my problem. It's not yours. Yeah, that is your problem. <laughs> I'm running out of video here. Things just there. Disarm and loot, but it's already been triggered once. Sure, okay. Pew. Um. So many traps. I know. Yeah, Why don't they want people to? Very, very paranoid man who who values his privacy. Don't they? Oh, look at that. that. Okay. Going to get a... Don't they want people to come and shop at their black market shop? No, they want they to kill them. Rather difficult. This isn't the black market shop. God damn it! It's the black is, market is... shop in Death of the Outsider. Okay. This is this I mean, is the heist so... complex. This is the heist. You're right. This is the safe house. You're right. You, play, you played um. Play payday two. This is this is where this is where the payday gang go, uh, goes to rest and recuperate. Do they reuse a few levels in Death of the Outsider? Yes, but you reuse one level. They reuse this level. <laughs> After all that, you didn't need it. So I have never found much. anything in those freaking little green drawers ever. <laughs> I 
think there's one or two of them that have it's like really not a worth few it. coins the in coins them. You get anyway. Don't quote me on that. The game's fairly no. generous with it as is. But I'm a perfectionist, <laughs> so I have to look at every one. There's like two Ethan. I know. I check them every time, even though I know there's not going to be anything. Unless I don't and know then, like how all of us check. Um, so you know how I said in well, the other videos, you guys were going to be mad at me about how. Uh, I dealt with <laughs> the witches. Yeah. What have yeah. you done? Uh, uh, I mean, I literally yes. haven't done anything. I kind of School. just, I kind of just skip the witches. School, <laughs> is there something you want to? No, say? it's a totally legitimate. Um, first, I was curious about whether I could uproot those, and no, you can't. Um, okay, uh, that's actually some pretty good um, science right there. It's a completely legitimate, like, tactic. Fucking big that. owl. I would be so curious of the animation. I know, that would be cool, just right? I was really hoping. The air. I was really hoping you could just, like, pull them up and kill them. Because, right? Like, what else are you going to do with weeds? <laughs> but, no. Honestly, I was kind of looking forward to the animation being it writhing in midair le uh, like a poked snake. Ooh. Poked snakes are cranky. I, I, Do I, any of us ever, like, kind of catch that sequence with the woman just sort of standing I out there? I wanted to visit this place with Wyman. Oh, there's another mention. I didn't, but yeah, she's like, I'm Brianna, I'm a stupid bitch. Blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, hey. She's gonna... Slow your roll, Brilliant. sister. Brianna. Just <laughs> <laughs> like Brianna. Oh shit. <laughs> yes, that was that was the time for the Call of Duty. That was for the sniper elite. I mean, she she did get she get it two for one there. It's basically a 360 no scope. Uh, yeah. So like once you deal with Brianna. Um, witches are like, they're just gone. <laughs> Wait, what? Are you serious? They just. There's like, screw there's no off? witches. I never knew that. <laughs> I think You're there might be still witches me. at this point. I think you have to non fatal no, 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 deal there's... with her. Yeah, yeah okay, so there's still witches, okay. but like, then All you right. non fatal deal with her, and then there's like, no more witches. They just disappear. Or they go to sleep, actually. That's crazy! Crazy! <laughs> So you guys are like yeah, spending just, all this time they, having, they, having they some shop. serious They're troubles like, with witches, oh. and I'm like, come on, scrubs, get on my level. I mean... <laughs> it's just one of those cases <laughs> where if you ignore them, they really do go away. <laughs> no, I forgot the uh, I forgot the yeah, bad you need your lenses. lenses. Yeah, and then I gotta wait for her to go away, because if she sees me, then she calls all the other witches. I'd be like, come on. Oh my god, this is like that time when I was. To nobody in particular in Apropos of nothing. Now to activate it and sever Ashworth's connection to the void. Come on. It's time for the science. All that's left to do is. It's time for the science! Come on. Okay, there we go. And I guess all the other witches don't. Just notice anything. Oh, Let's okay. magic up some. No, okay. they show up. They like run around. They stop, and they stop panicking. Hey. Like, <laughs> no, oh, whatever. Past me, like, whatever. What is. Shouldn't they have been attacking me? I don't know. Um, they're all unconscious now. Every witch in the level is unconscious now. Yeah, they fall, they fall unconscious when she gets severed to the. That yeah. is brilliant! That's a wonderful. <laughs> that's totally not an oversight. That's very oh, well thought out. That's intense. Yeah. yeah, she so she's the, uh, she's like that's the local to put it in dumb. Warhammer 40k. Uh, she's the freaking, local dot. Yeah, she's the synapse <laughs> beast, as it were. Um, so they're all sleepy they now. Don't they're all at sleepy you times. Her, though, is my, is my because uh, because the the link to the void is still there. This one has outright severed oh. the. Oh, and I it's the, see. Okay, this actually makes it kind of gets sense. rid of the source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're all on witchy sleepy times. Witch naps. Deepest lore. Um, but she's like... I also appreciate how... to hurt to uh, knock her out this time around? You can, like, actually start a fight with her. <laughs> and she'll, like, really... She's a pretty good fighter, but I don't want to deal with that, so... Wait, what? I don't know. Did you just... 
I don't know what happened. <laughs> I guess it didn't count. She totally just survived a spring razor. Yeah, she ducked it. I don't know. <laughs> Next level <laughs> stress. Sort of, why are you looking, why are you you looking a bit foolish? You just sort of swirled foolish? around her. Just try again. The spring racer on her butt. Oh, oh butt. I do fight her. Who are you? Something fell off I of like her. Her. <gasps> Ooh, I forgot about that. Oh, Jesus. That was pretty cool. That was, that was very, very cool. That was, that. that was, uh... That was a total oh, surprise to me. I forgot about that. What up? Hmm. I'm a badass. That, sna that snap kick was great. <laughs> Don't know why you killed her, though. Top marks. <laughs> you didn't need to kill her. Uh, yes, I did. didn't need to. But she was... To. She would have been also, unhappy. Also, that was totally your fault, by the way. So. <laughs> it was a mercy. Also, breaking glass. Yeah, that's cool. Um, <laughs> also, Six what up, Delilah? Delilah? How you doing? I killed your friend. As if you could ever hide your face from me, Emily. As though I wanted Little to. Little Black Sparrow. Free from your cage at last. Brianna Ashworth is dead. Spoiled child! You had no right! Born into a silk padded cradle, you'll never understand what she meant to me. And everything you've stolen? All the lives you've ruined? It should have been mine to begin with. Everything that's happened is wrong. <laughs> but don't you worry, I'm going to make it all better. Give me back my throne and my father. Come and take them. In those order. Yeah. In that order. <laughs> in that order. order. Throne first. Then father. Spooky. Um, yeah. Oh, this is. Is this the Sims music? Yes. <laughs> There's a lot to loot in this level. <laughs> yes, it is the Sims music. Just stealing it's the entire the, place. I can I can see you had no problem with the uh, with the bottles of flash powder then. Uh, you uh, you crashed music. out, so uh, you missed it on my run. But I may I may have had some slight problems uh, with that. <laughs> so like all the witches are gone. Yeah, no, this place is pretty much your playground now. It's a <laughs> that is like it should I, be. Your I what your I want. violent like, bee filled why playground. Why in the world would you think we would be pissed about that? That was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, no, I thought that was cool. You learn something new every day. No joke. And if you I don't, if you don't drink thing. to forget, you, you keep that lesson. <laughs> this is unironically <laughs> my favorite, my favorite video I, game I, music I, ever. <laughs> it's it's very Marvel, charming. So. <laughs> and very iconic. I will it, I, I will say by the way, it also it also made, uh, amused me how at some point between getting knocked out and dropping her pistol and getting stripped of her powers and showing up again, Brianna somewhere found a new pistol. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sure. I don't know I how just... that happened. <laughs> 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 you, you are a kid in a candy store here. <laughs> and everything is candy. The music helps. <laughs> it really does. Just ignoring the hanging guy. Whatever, there's candy. This is one hell of a museum trip. Oh, this is me playing with the guy. Complete <laughs> <laughs> the science. Physics! Look like one, uh, one of those. Uh, oh, it's witch's bedtime. There we go. I knew something was gonna happen. You try to do a push up, or a pull up rather. Bedtime for witches. <laughs> this is beauty. <laughs> oh dear. They're gonna, they're gonna they're gonna wake up with serious headaches, but at least they won't wake up with back aches. We just bedtime. Good night. Good night, bitches. Wow, you're really into this bedtime thing. Not hating. Not uh, hating. Do you want them to burn down in the night? No, that's not safe to leave candles unattended. And Brianna unattended. Feet. There you go. Good night, now Brianna. Now they, they can entertain the idea that she just left. <laughs> She's just left. It's not she like quit. I don't love her tell them there's, otherwise. There's basically like I was not gonna tell them anything ever. There's a there's a arc 
pylon like wall, whatever those are called, in a room in the museum for no reason, and you have to specifically power it with a whale oil tank. Well, yeah, that's because they're 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 it. showing demonstrating in the conservatory. Does anyone who visits how the thing works? I know, but like in order to use it, you have to specifically turn it on and set it up, and then lure people into it. It just seems very convoluted. So I thought, you know what, Brianna is here. Her only moments of real freedom. Getting drunk at fancy balls and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that, never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Well, it looks like he's gonna get that he wish at least. Well, no, no, he's not, because there's no, there's nothing left to put on the spike. So. Her ashes, no. at most. Ashes, Brianna Ashworth. What? <laughs> we did it. We cracked the code. It is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not. This is, this is what this is what uh, what they wanted you to do the entire time. Yeah. You wanted you to turn it to ashes. Drop some schematics based on the prototype. Something you can Um. So yeah, you trade it in with this guy. So you don't want to rob him until you've turned in your like even I have that much sense. stolen yeah, show some restraint. stuff. And then he's like, hey, take. This stuff. What a pleasant surprise! It's a little bit like murdering the entire town of Baragost in, in Baldur's Gate One. You don't want to do it until you're ready to go into Baldur's Gate City. Mm. What are you saying? I'm the only person who ever does that? <laughs> no, I equipped the Berserker Sword in Baragost once, and uh, that's about okay. what happened. Yeah. Okay, great. I'm kind of just buying stuff to buy stuff now. Like I don't actually want any other upgrades because I'm not going to use them. But oh, mm -hmm. whatever. I keep. Like, I guess I'll take this stuff. So there's Wonderful throw! There's some like there's some more guards. Very impressive that show up. That was a very nice hat he has as well. No. I'm on the throat chop is still. Oh no, things. yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, I thought he had left a. Hello! Oh! What? Not quite, not quite. I was robbed! I totally Everyone, should have gotten that one. It just shows how little they actually understand the outsider when they think a 15 year old kid has a hairy ass. <laughs> Outsiders I crooked. I didn't realize that, that the corpse limiter on this game was so high. It's high. I'm just saying, you can. Especially I crammed like f 36 corpses into. <laughs> the tanning cannon, I mean, so... That is fair. <laughs> uh, Undertaker... It amazes me that, that, like, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who's crafting bone charms beside, at this point besides you. I do it close towards the end. It's just great, because, like, crafting Undertaker yeah, means things I ever did. you run faster with a dead body than without. Sounds I do it in a couple levels, I think. won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Oh God! Either say Staff something or don't. Don't say nothing. Things, but I'm not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? Oh shit! Self burn. Is not a joke. Yeah, Emily, I don't I think that Delilah landed the way you wanted Ashworth. it to. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's kind of a self burn. <laughs> Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. All right, Megan. Thank you for opening up. If only a little. I'm starting to feel like you deserve it. Are you ready to leave now? Yes. Let's go. Take me back to the. All right, what am I responsible for? It's yeah, here we go. Count, count down question. to responsibility. I'm Three, gonna go with two, one. Seven. Six! I almost Six. had it! Not bad. Oh, just how 
Six. I, I said seven. <laughs> I said seven. I almost had it. Almost. Holy crap! Mm -hmm. You did like you, you did an incredible job out. of cleaning <laughs> it out. Yeah. So much assault. Jeez, Louise. 